Here's a question for you. When unexpected guests show up at your door, what are you gonna try to whip up on the fly? Every good picnic needs a little boozy treat. Let's make my tea-infused vodka lemonade. Do limit the booze in your cocktail to one and a half ounces of liquor or four ounces of wine. For this recipe, my go-to is Viborova Pure Polish Vodka, affectionately nicknamed Vibo. This is a great vodka for those of you with celiac or gluten intolerance because not only is it 100% GMO free, it's also naturally gluten free. Oh, I love day drinking. Research shows that you can actually trick your mind into thinking you're drinking more simply by switching up your glassware and bulking up the portion of calorie free ice. I wasn't raised in a foodie home. I didn't have a Nona to teach me how to make sausage or a Bobby to make matzo balls or eating only organic gluten free rice crackers or grass fed free range bison. I grew into a food-loving, healthy, professional eater, food blogger, home chef, food scholar, and registered dietitian. Food is love, culture, tradition, identity, sensuality. So in my practice, my research, and my everyday life, I've discovered that having a pleasurable relationship with food is one of the most essential components to good health. And for me to be able to accept my fate as a foodie dietitian, I set out on the goal to dispel the myth that eating well has to be boring and bland, instead to demonstrate how it can be flavorful and satisfying and maybe even a little bit sexy. I mean, if you think about it, and I hope you will, eating and sex are not dissimilar activities. They're both embodied, manual, sensual, intimate, pleasurable, shared, health-promoting, and pretty much essential to life at this point. But I really want to encourage people to hold on to the tradition of enjoying every taste and touch and smell of food as they would other stimulating encounters. I'm not here to preach to you. I'm simply here to inspire you to go out and experience food with renewed curiosity and excitement. So follow me, eat with me, learn with me, join me on a series of gastronomic adventures. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen, where nothing says lovin' like something from the oven. I hope you brought your appetite. Today I'm going to be thinking outside the user manual, showing you some unorthodox applications for some of my everyday kitchen tools. Let me show you what I mean. So let's face it, we've probably all bought one of these and used it once because we realized that bundt cakes are only marginally delicious. But fresh corn on the other hand, now that's always exciting. While I do love a good barbecued cob, there are times that I just want to remove the kernels so I can throw them into a super salad. And now I've seen people trying to get the kernels off by awkwardly hacking at it this way, but you know, that just makes me nervous. Fingers are good people, let's, let's keep them. And all that delicious juice all over the cutting board, that's good too. So, if you just prop your cob into the bun pan, you can slide your knife down the shaft like this. It is a lot more secure this way, and you can collect all the juices and kernels in one place. If I close my eyes, I can still taste all those autumnal flavors. The apples were tender and perfumed with the scent of comfort, coated so completely in caramelized sugar that created this chewy texture between my teeth. The topping was crumbly and crunchy and supple and satisfyingly sweet. As a registered dietitian, I know how much misinformation there is out there and it is confusing the heck out of all of us. Today, I'm gonna set the record straight and I'm gonna bust some nutrition myths once and for all. So then, of course, people assume, oh, the more food of this I eat, the more fat I'm gonna burn. Guys, this is just not true. But thinking this is the cure-all after a week-long poutine bender, not so much. All of these juice programs and restrictive diets are based on the assumption that your body needs to be cleansed of its toxins. Abby, reduced fat foods are always better for you. Dr. Sheffield on TV said so. A lot of those diet products, they kind of just taste like crap. So if you're like me, you're probably gonna feel so deprived 
you're gonna go have to have a slice of cheesecake afterwards. So now we're ready to pack this bad boy up. I like using eco-friendly products like these washable cloth napkins and cutlery. You'll also need some picnic blankets, some bug spray, sunscreen because sunburns are not cute, colorful straws so you look sophisticated while day drinking. So go ahead, invite yourself over, stop by after work, follow me home. Actually don't, that would be creepy. Even that weird guy that just added you on Facebook, they're all gonna be completely blown away by your effortless culinary grace. So thanks for joining me for today's gastronomic adventure. Be sure to check back regularly for upcoming episodes of Abby's Kitchen, where nothing says lovin' like selling from the oven.